Welcome to Microworld's EX Logo, the programming language made for kids mainly in the middle school. Great chance to get the computer programming experience. This is the first screen you will see when you get Microworld's EX. We're going to do free mode to start with. When you hit free mode, you're going to see this screen, pretty typical. The first thing you're going to do is want a turtle up here in the upper corner. Let me zoom in here. There's a little turtle, green turtle, coming out of a shell, egg shell. Click on that and click somewhere on the screen. Doesn't have to be anywhere particular. There's your first turtle. I know it kind of sounds kind of silly, but for the next 30 lessons or so, you're going to be moving around a turtle around a screen. Well, down here at the bottom left is called the command center. This is where you actually control the turtle. We'll talk about the procedures page here in a few lessons, but let me get this set up for the text. I'm going to use Times New Roman. Let's see, Times New Roman. Bold 20 for you to be able to see down here. Now, the most basic command is CG. And you have to learn the language. The language of logo is a different command, like learning any other language. Certain words have certain meanings. CG stands for clear graphics, and you can notice what the turtle already did. No matter where it's at on the screen, and I can pick it up, move it anywhere, hit CG, stands for clear graphics. The turtle comes back to the center of the screen. It has a location. Plus, it's also pointed up. I think you can see the little head there. Close-up view of the turtle. Yeah. Cute little turtle, huh? Well, CG does that, and no matter where you're at, if you put this on your homework, and sometimes I give students homework for Logo, even if they don't have a computer at home, or even if they don't have Logo at home, when you hit CG, I know exactly what it does. It goes directly to the screen in the middle, and it's pointed up, guaranteed. That's what CD does. The second most basic command is PD. It stands for pen down. It doesn't look like it does anything, but it puts the pen down in case you want to draw. Back in the days when they first made this, they had a turtle that was on the floor, a robot, and they actually had a physical pen, and when they wanted to draw stuff on paper, they would put the pen down. Opposite of pen down is pen up. It doesn't do anything like right now, but uh, pen up is the opposite. Now, it doesn't do anything until you command it. Now, the kids like to do the mouse and, and do things like drag it. If you also notice that if I grab a hold of the turtle, I know I can turn it around It'll be facing different ways, but I don't want them to do that. I want them to learn the language, the programming, not the click of a mouse. So we've got pen down. Well, we have to move the turtle. The most basic commands are forward. But let me show you what happens if you type in FD, which looks like it stands for forward. It says FD needs more inputs. There's a close-up view. It needs not only, it tells you an error, Logo is great at telling you not only what error, what kind of error you have, you know, what exactly is needed. FD needs more inputs. Let's say you put 100. Now it says, I don't know how to forward 100. It's a different error. It tells you what kind of thing you need to be aware of. The reason it's giving you an error message is it needs a space. Forward 100. FD 100. You're going to go forward 100 turtle steps, not 100 inches, not 100 uh, centimeters, 100 inches. There are 100 turtle steps, sorry. And uh, if you want to go back, it's the opposite. BK, back 100. So if we go back 100 again, and if we go forward 200, we can kind of have this turtle dance, all right? Goes back and forth. Well, CG that. Back in the center we go, all things cleared off. If I want to make a, since this is geometry and a lot of algebra, a lot of uh, oh, shapes, we're going to make a square. To go forward 100 is no problem, but I need to turn. In logo, that's one of the crucial things, if not the crucial thing. How much to turn? We're going to take a right turn. RT stands for right turn. And the most common angle of all and anything that we build is 90 degrees. Students can't tell me why a right angle is 90 degrees. Can you? If I go forward now, 100, and then take another right turn, 90, keep in mind that it's the turtle's right, not your right or my right, the turtle's right. It depends on which way it's headed. 
go forward 100. And then, even though it looks like it's going to go left, I want it to be turned right 90 because the turtle's right. Giving directions is very crucial. Which, which way to turn depends on which way you're facing. It matters if you're going from Los Angeles to Chicago and which way you turn as opposed to going from Chicago to Los Angeles. It does matter quite a bit. If you go forward 100, you now have a complete square. There's one more PE command I want to do. One more pen command, I should say. It's called PE. So far we've got pen down, pen up, and now we got PE. Doesn't look like it does anything, but actually it sets the stage for erasing. If I go back 100 now, I just erased the line. If I take a left turn 90, left turn 90, and go back 100, I just erased that one. You can keep going with that if you wanted to, but it has to be in the right manner. The right. If I went forward now, that wouldn't work. That's kind of the opposite. We need to back up 100, actually 200. And we can keep going back. We'll just CG it. And if you don't do see the typing right. So forward, back, left, and right. The most common angle is 90. Pen up, pen down, penny race.